Welcome back, everybody. It's time for version 10. So we're going to be looking at flux in painting. I've got two really cool implementations. I've combined a couple of new things. Thank you, Kijai, as always, for giving us the goods. Uh, essentially, what we've got for you today is a couple of cool things. Now, let's go through what you're going to need first, because I want to get that out of the way. First of all, you're going to need the Comfy UI Segment Anything 2. The basic in painting, I don't think, actually requires any extra stuff. but there's two versions. So we're going to be combining this with something else. So segment anything to download the custom node. Obviously, if you work my, when you load my workflow, it's going to install this with missing custom nodes. So you don't need to worry too much. However, the model goes into Comfy UI models, SAM2. Nice and easy. And this is the model right here. I just downloaded all of them, but this workflow is going to be using SAM2 Hiera Small which is only 184 megabytes, which is very nice. Before I forget, hit that bell. Now, where were we? The next thing you're going to want to download is the Comfy UI Florence 2. And again, when you load the workflow, it's going to prompt you with missing nodes to install this. The only thing you need to know is to get the weights. Now, I downloaded for this workflow, I downloaded the base, okay? And essentially, it's everything in this folder. It will download it automatically for you, by the way. But in case you have a problem, say your internet connection fails or whatever, what you can do is you can download these files manually. And then we place them into models, LLM, Florence 2 base. And then as you can see here, I've got all of the files. There's the main model, but it does require all the configs, okay? So just make sure you get that. Uh, just to cover where we put the other one, that was obviously in the SAM2 folder. So there I have mine. And in fact, I've still, I've still got to copy the large. and <laughs> It's downloaded, I just haven't put it there yet, all right? But you only need the small for this workflow. Okay, so let's take a look at the first workflow. This would be Flux in Paint. We've got project name here. If you want to do auto auto organization of your uh, images when they get saved, we've got random. We've got the noise seed there. You can pull that to wherever you need it to be. I always keep it up here if I can. We're going to be loading in the uh, separate models, but you can obviously use this one instead. Just make sure you hook it up where these are hooked up. All right. This is a basic workflow, so it's intended to be as simple as possible. I have included the Laura loader. So if you want to load Laura's in the InPaint, you can do that. You use a very simple InPaint prompt. So I used a leather jacket. And then you will right click and go into open in mask editor. And that's how you actually paint the mask. Okay, so if I change that to white, black, negative, black, white. There we go. That's probably easier to see like that. So I just painted this in myself. Okay. Um, he's going to do a Gaussian blur mask. We're going to be using differential diffusion in case you were wondering. That's how we're basically going to be doing this. And it's doing uh, the native flux in painting uh, with eight steps. I did increase the steps. You can, you can increase the steps. Um, actually, you get 20 steps and it's going to give you a little bit of a stronger prompt following effect because you can't use model shift. I know we love to boost, but when you use model shift, it's got the incorrect conditioning format. So until one a method comes or I can figure out a way of wiring that we don't have access to shift but because we're using a denoise strength of one anyway um it's okay to just increase steps it's fine it doesn't break the image or anything so what we're going to do we're going to generate that so this was the original image it's one of my test images that I use a lot and it's going to do the thing and there it is so that should explain to you what we're doing today. As you can see, it's changed it into a kind of, there is, it's more of a leather style jacket, which it's come into. All right. Now more steps will make it follow the prompt more. So I could put it up to like uh, 12 steps, which is like three times as many as I normally would. And it's going to make it follow. It's going to be a little bit more leather jackety. Okay. So again, lots more you could do with that, but that's the basic operation. All right. So you put the model, sorry, 
you put the image that you want to load in here you right click you go mask editor and uh, then you put the prompt that you want it to do and obviously wherever you mask whatever you're masking describe how you want it to change and there you go that's it so very simple flux in paint so that's one let's get on to the next one okay you have no idea how much we're going to be building with this core system this is like a core a core module right here so we have the exact same in painting from last time but what i've done is i've moved the blur mask and an input for the reroute for the image okay but it's essentially identical to what we had before right but with an additional difference so there's two things we'll go from this side so first we have our SAM2 model, right? I'm using SAM2 here, a small on single image. And yes, there are video modes. This is a super cool thing, by the way, guys. Um, and yeah, it's going to basically take the coordinates from Florence, which we'll look at in just a second, which is an LLM, which is going to give the mask data. So good. So good. Oh, man, this is going to be like a whole new Rotomaker update once we've uh, got it got it all built. But basically, you can see here, uh, the mask has been colored for visualization. So this is the mask. It's a really good mask. And I've used the word dress in Florence. So we prompt, it's prompt to mask using Florence 2, which is an LLM. And then we pipe that into uh, Florence 2 coordinates B boxes, which goes into SAM2 segmentation. So I hope you can see the power of this, because obviously what that means is now we can use words to describe what we want to mask, right? So, for example, I could say hair, right? I could say hair. And then I could say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but I could say afro, big afro. I don't know if it'll work because... It's not really enough. Well, let's see what it does. So off we go. So it's going to try and mask the hair. Perfect mask on the hair there. Yeah. It's going to throw that into the uh, in-paint system. And then what are we going to get? It's not, I haven't tried this. This is purely off the cuff. And I think I'm doing 20 steps on this one because I wanted it to really follow the prompt quite strongly. Okay, we didn't get an afro, but it's done something. It's a bit harsh because, you know, the afro is like quite small, if you see what I mean. I suppose what I could have done is I could have put a grow mask on there. But I, 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 uh, <laughs> should we try it? I don't know. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I think we should probably do it before rather than after. So let's just try it. You know what I mean? Why not? where my mind goes so i just go into there and then into here uh no into here and then we just increase the grow mask obviously i've not tried this i just want to <laughs> see what happens okay we grew the mask by four will it give it more i'm thinking it might give it some more hair to i don't know oh okay maybe i need to grow it by a lot more than four Right, well, anyway, I'm not going to try and break things. So let me just turn that off right now because it works really well without that. Um, let's try a different image. Okay, so it's a little bit horrific, but it did its best. So <laughs> what I've done is I've used face as the prompt for the mask, right? So face, <laughs> and then I've said African for my prompt uh, down here, African. And then it's tried to make an African face. There you go. So a yeah, little, little horrific. Maybe uh, back off the steps there. That is quite baked out. Um, but yeah, I hope you can see. Uh, let's do a couple more. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got our person and he's been masked out automatically. And then we've reprompted uh, the person. Okay. Really quite nice, actually. Um, it's kind of working a little bit like a control net depth, because obviously with depth, you get this quite hard silhouette to generate into. So it's not really depth at all, but it's kind of having a similar effect in terms of control. So again, another tool for the toolkit. So this one here is Flux in Paint Sam. 
Um, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Comfy Manager should install everything. And when you run the workflow, it should download the models. If you have any trouble, there'll be instructions at the bottom of the Civit AI workflow pack page. Right, if you show more, go all the way to the bottom. Uh, you should be able to see the links for the various things, like where the models are, where they have to go. So if you have any problems, uh, you can do it manually, no problem. So obviously, once we're done creating our images, we can put them into our uh, upscaler, no problem. So this is amazing. And I will say, there's going to be a Flux Roto Maker pack update soon, guys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, this is what happens. They they bring out a new technology. This is this is this is superior to what we had before. Does the same thing with the correct setup. So uh, we're going to be upgrading. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you next time. So memberships are here. I've added donator and member. The donator membership is just uh, you want to support the channel, help us grow. Member, you're going to get some exclusive video access. And uh, check out the join now button for more information.